Well, I'm now joined by Dr. Mohan himself. Thank you so much for being with us today. Dr. Mohan, we've heard about the work that you're doing across all areas of diabetes, but let's particularly concentrate on gestational diabetes. How much of an issue is that in South Asia? It is a big problem, and generally the prevalence of gestational diabetes mirrors the prevalence of either diabetes or pre-diabetes in that particular region. So if 10% of the people have pre-diabetes, then 10% of gestational diabetes women also have pre-diabetes because basically it's just type 2 diabetes which occurs early brought on by pregnancy obviously. So in countries where the prevalence is high, this would be high. In countries where the prevalence of diabetes is low, GDM would also be low. So in South Asia, since we now have, where South Asia is now the epicenter of the diabetes epidemic, and so we have a huge problem. Uh, in the urban areas, in the cities, metropolitan cities, big cities, it could be between 15 to 20% of all pregnant women who have, so it's like one in five who have gestational diabetes. In the rural areas would be much less. It depends on the level of the development of the, of the village but it could be anything between 5 to 10 percent. Tell us about the WINGS project. How did it come about? Gestation diabetes is one area in the whole of diabetes where there's very little agreement. So IDF and its wisdom thought that they will develop a model of care, base it in India, and WINGS stands for Women with Gestational Diabetes in India Strategy, so WINGS. So they, they wanted to pilot test it at our center because we are an IDF center of education uh, Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Special Center and the Madras Diabetes Research Foundation based in Chennai. We are an official IDF center. So they offered to us and said, would you like to take this on? And the idea is that we pilot test it in India and then develop a model of care with protocols and everything, which can then be rolled out to the rest of the world. And we are now uh, fairly well advanced in the WINGS project. The pilot phase, or the, what we call as a phase one, development of all the modules and finding out which screening test to be used and so on and so forth has all been done. Now we are in the implementation phase, which means that we have developed the model of care, we have trained the healthcare providers, and now we intend to roll this out. We are already rolling it out to first to the urban centers and very soon to the rural centers in India. So using existing infrastructure that's available so that we're not hiring a lot of people because then that would make it impractical uh, or a logistic nightmare when you try to upscale it and to, to roll it out in the rest of the rest of the world. And so from that point of view, we have developed this module and hopefully in the next year, by the end of 2014, the project will have been completed and we'll be ready to uh, present this definitely at the next ID of Congress in Vancouver and then roll it out to the rest of the developing countries like other parts of Asia and Africa and South America and so on. What have been some of the successes of the project so far? The successes have been that we have been able to uh, test various diagnostic tests which have been recommended, starting from the simple one test screening and diagnostic test with just one 140 milligrams, the old WHO criteria, to the IADPSG criteria and so on and so forth. We have been also uh, testing whether you can do it in a capillary blood where venous samples cannot be obtained or a lab is not available, so using glucometers, so you tested that out. We have, uh, uh, did, we have got the information on the, uh, the knowledge, awareness and practices of gestational diabetes in different parts of the country, from the healthcare providers, from, from subjects with, uh, with women with diabetes, from the nurses and so on and so forth, so we have got, we have got all that in place. We have got all the training modules in place. We have understood what the ground reality is, what the challenges are, and how, uh, how we may take this forward and what would work in resource constrained situations and settings like in rural India. We have already seen what the outcomes are when we retrospective analysis about 4,000 women uh, who have delivered, and we're looking at that. But now through this project, how much more will we be able to improve it? Can a lady, a woman with gestational diabetes have the same outcomes as a non-GDM, normal pregnant woman. That would be our ultimate aim. Dr. Mohan, thank you so much for sharing your tremendous work with us. Appreciate it. Thank you.